Welcome back to Chessmaster 2000. I'll be your co-host, Pods. And we, I'm here with the center host of our program, uh, Just a Friend. We like chess so much. Alice likes the chess so much, she put on a new costume for it. Yeah, with big-ass shoulder pads. What, uh, what does our, our costume do for us, Jeff? Um... <laughs> does it add plus five to chess? Um... It, uh... Room, it doubles page. all damage. They don't do things halfway at <sighs> Americans McGee House, do they? No. No. <laughs> but I thought, you know, this, this is kind of the ideal time for it, not only thematically, but because um, the executioner. Hello! Doesn't take any damage, and there's a, there's two regular rooms that are kind of boring, so yeah. it helps in that regard. Well, and like regular combat is not super dangerous, regardless, so why not? Sure, nuts. Oh god. Sure. Uh -huh. You can't deal with raps either. I see. He just disappeared. He's really scared of raps. <laughs> no, I think he's just like got you, and then he just disappears. He doesn't want to kill us. He just wants to. Tease us and put us in the the desaturated zone. Look for the queen, but remember, she also has eyes. Of course, we're gonna look for the queen, man. We're in an area. We go to the boss of the area. Hey, stupid cat. Here's something cool. That's really shiny down there. Is that Amelia Earhart? No. Oh. oh. <laughs> Who is Rez? this? Born in the wrong century, I was Alice. Picture me, Madame Duvage, knitting away as deserving heads roll from the guilty. Ah, oh, those were the good days. So, in canon now, Raz's entire adventure was just a weird hallucination. <laughs> um, for, yeah, for some reason, Raz of Psychonauts. It's just chilling out here as a skeleton. American McGee recognizes a, a good platformer when they see one. That's 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 very true. <laughs> do do pay your do do pay your respects to Psychonauts. Yeah. Psychonauts deserves a hug. That's like yeah, it's it's a weird, unexpected cameo, but there it is. Yeah, if it, it's just you know. If these guys had made Psychonauts, it would make a lot more sense, but it's cool this year regardless. Hey guys, you know what's a cool game? Not our game. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, go play Psychonauts instead. <laughs> <laughs> there really is a lot of variation in the architecture in this area. It's nuts. Like, you have whole zones that are very repetitive, then this place is just like. Hog wild. Oh, that car out his heart. Yeah. I'm gonna say that guy took a fair amount of damage given that you're double damage right now. Oh, yeah. Never mind. Yeah. I mean, that guy melted like nothing. Damn. Most stuff is gonna melt in this video. <laughs> now that you're a walking bus, uh. Yeah, Alice, you probably should have just, like, smoked a lot of opium and forgotten your childhood. <laughs> You'd be better off with all this trash in there. Yeah, now we're in the weird library, and... I'm just gonna show you this really long, convoluted puzzle platforming section. It's like... Okay, thank you. A perfect guest stays home. That's it's not scary. a guess if you stay home, Queen. You're, you're contradicting <laughs> yourself. <laughs> you're not making any sense. Oh. Don't worry in the heights. I, I really don't want to be the pig that has to deal with a snout full of boiling tea in the nose. It's an awful way to live your life. Yeah, this area makes me think of, uh... 
Prince of Persia. Uh, <laughs> it, it, yeah. I was uh, oh. I was thinking about it earlier, the exact same thing, that this reminds me of uh, Prince of Persia, <laughs> yeah. Especially with the, the fly-through, because it's like, oh, okay, so I jump up there, I swing up the pole. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> and also, especially because Prince of Persia um, Lovely also has libraries music. as yeah. areas, so... I'm told your and this is also Especially, this could be like a uh, Prince Persia Warrior Within, or whatever the second one was. They got super gothy. Yeah, Warrior Within is the second one. Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad we saw eye to eye. We are all <laughs> victims in waiting. <laughs> oh, springies that way. Okay. Oh, it's a springy. Hooray. You just had a trust in crazy wall rider person. Be afraid now. What? Come on. Oh, what are you wow, that was a. Uh, <laughs> you saw that was like, I was locked on, right? Yep. Jeez. He's so invulnerable you can't even target him. Right? <laughs> a misfire. <laughs> oh no, my teapot misfired. Oh, there he is. Oh. He doesn't hit his fellow enemies, does he? Does he does. Awesome? Oh, cool. Yeah, he really ought to. Yeah. His big mini swings. I think he just fertilized that guy. Yep. Yeah. Oh, he said, oh, you running away from me? I'll... I'll pull you away. I'll pull you away from here and put you in the meat dimension. We can suspect the execution wow. put you in the meat dimension. The meat dimension is getting more and more abstract and grim. Yeah, he didn't just put us in the basement, now he just... Yeah. <laughs> I like to imagine we're, we're digging deeper and deeper into the, the like lowest vestiges of her subconscious. I like we're into the animalistic pre-consciousness centers here. Also known as Flesh Hill. <laughs> AKA the meat dimension. Boop, boop. Haven't seen Time Platform in a while. Mostly because I, I cut them out because yeah. they're not very interesting. <laughs> not very stringently timed. For some reason, there's another black hole in the background, but it's red. <laughs> it's a meat hole. Ugh. Oh. Oh, oh no, that's where, that's where the Persona 4 guy is gonna... <laughs> <laughs> that's, that, that's, where, that's where his chopsticks are gonna enter from. Yep. It's gonna be... Through the meat hole. Yeah, it's gonna be the enemy of uh, this area. Uh, Two giant chops. You, yeah. Nakamura? Yeah. Is that it? Or Charlie Tonoku. <laughs> or Charlie Tonoku. As he is more commonly known. <laughs> She's aimless, shiftless, pointless. Look, Red Queen. Oh! Now they have red flavored rooms. Now they're flesh Yeah, now they're flesh guys instead of food guys. Uh, I prefer to think of them as strawberry flavored. No, uh, I don't think it's. Um, no, I, I don't want to lick them. <laughs> they look all goopy. They're, they're, they're feiny. You wouldn't eat a feiny strawberry, would you? I don't want to answer that question. It's super <laughs> gross. <laughs> that's, a, that's a private question. You can't ask me that. <laughs> Please, Jeff, we're public. The public will hear of this. Oh, no. Don't leave us alone, Alice! Don't abandon us, Alice! Stay with us! Oh, Alice followed the cat and left her family to burn. Because the cat oh. said, Jump out the window! <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, to our watchers out there, viewers, I just want to say, if your cat tells you to jump out the window, it's generally not a good idea. Just oh, the cat saved her. That's a generally. I'm sure 
there are the occasional instances where <laughs> that will save your life, but mostly it will just <laughs> break your legs. For instance, when your house is on fire. For yeah. instance, instance number two, when <laughs> when uh, Satan is summoned from beneath your house and a portal oh, yeah. to the to the nether realms are opened up. Yeah, the correct answer there is not to go in and confront Satan, it is just let Satan have the place and walk away. Yeah, you just gotta ignore Satan and then you just get bored. Well, then that's, you, that's you, know, you the yell back you at Satan, like, haha, the mortgage was underwater anyways, your problem now. Oh no, then Satan has to deal with the mortgage, oh no. Yeah. It yeah. Jokes on him. <laughs> Satan hates one thing, it's paying bills. I forget what bounder means exactly, and now I'm sad. That seems like a term I should be familiar with. Uh, after some research, a bounder is a dishonorable man. So, that, okay. that narrows it down, nicely. Oh, I wonder if there's gonna be a fight here in this wide open area. Oh, there is! Holy shit. Oh no! He becomes more powerful in the meat dimension. Well, he's made of meat. Oh, it's meat. No, it seems his power is just laughing at you. Yeah, oh, what a jerk. <laughs> Maybe it's not actually here. Yeah, I think this is like the, uh... The bit from the Batman Arkham Asylum game. Yeah, but Scarecrow. Uh, yeah, spoilers. If you haven't played it by now, you're dumb. You should feel bad. God damn it! How many layers deep does this thing go? It, it's just red down here. We're now in uh, level 4 hell. Uh, the Executioner actually represents Alice's urge to kill. Powerful murder instinct. To you. We fell into an artery? Gross. A reflection sometimes exposes more reality than the object it echoes. Yeah, I picked that up, Cat. It's like sometimes how when you draw an object, you draw more of it than just a still image would show. Yeah. Let's, also, you play chess in your yeah. subconscious. Let's just play chess instead and not worry about the giant monster that's trying to kill us. That sounds like Frey, yeah? Oh, now there's a knight. What could we possibly do about that? Well, the knight moves too, and if if he if he sees you, if you're in front of it, he'll destroy you or the or the other piece. Oh, so you kind of have to trick him and go around him. So uh, as we're returning to our, our Metal Gear roots here, you have to stealth past the knight. Yeah, and then use the rooks to go around and make the other. On. I'm a little sad that the uh, knight does not move like a knight. He just kind of patrols. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. What kind of crappy knight are you? Oh, the zombies just hanging out, watching the game. Let's just leave them there. Remember when you said that keyholes sometimes look like arteries? Well, <laughs> about that. And now we have a chance to clean up all the nasty plaque in Alice's brain veins. That's... that's... Oh. that's beating. The throbbing is hypnotic. That's what she said. Uh. <laughs> uh. Uh. I wish she didn't say that. What the oh, hey train! Remember me! I'm the part of this game. You could destroy this part of Wonderland, that'd be alright. We have no particular use for crazy Red Queen demand. Well, we do want to talk to her to make sense of what's going on. Okay. <laughs> 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 I was real confused for a second. <laughs> uh, that's good. I'm oh, glad man. you were. We just it's have like to you survive, decided to play so. Bayonetta instead. 
Which, you know, it's not a bad decision. But that is pretty awesome. <laughs> well, we need to hurry and not miss the train. So there we go. <laughs> Fly me to the train. <laughs> Let me ride a train around. If you're very as astute, you probably noticed that it was the third and not the second one. Because I cut out the second one entirely. Because <laughs> it was just, kill these dudes, and these dudes are a bunch of wasps. Yeah, I mean, at this point of the game, you've seen enough of the regular combat, which hasn't changed a whole lot. No. And probably is not going to change a whole lot, so that's fine. Nope. That's what this... Pacing this game, that is the one thing that really annoys me, is that, like, by a third of the way into the game, they're out of combat mechanics entirely, pretty much. Yeah. It's too bad. Well, I mean, the dude mix it up here with... Uh, <laughs> with... yeah. That's some good self dug in there. Thank you. <laughs> and they change bits, but there's no more new weapons, there's no more new moves no. to learn. It's no. Pretty much seeing what you're gonna see. Little gimmicks. <laughs> yeah, gimmicks. <laughs> we've we still got gimmicks. That's good, right? Oh, right in the face. No. It's, it's kind of like they gave up on any new mechanics. Like, ask you, you can just teep on stuff. Go nuts. Especially with your your double damage hyper teapot. Well, they want they wanted to do more with the weapons. Like one of the one of the things they wanted to do with the pepper grinder was uh, give it special, well, not necessarily ammo, but special things like you can shoot not only fire but electricity and wind and yeah, all like that kind of stuff. Power ups, kind of. Yeah. Maybe the same for the teapot cannon. Kind of. Uh, you should have the ability when you've got the pepper grinder out to use it as a shotgun instead of a machine gun. Because mm -hmm. yeah. more games always need shotguns. What secrets lie in wait for us? Oh, it's just a bottle. Uh oh, oh, oh. It is strangely nondescript, just brick room. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's just, <laughs> like it's just the most perfect square, almost. Yeah, it's weird. The most generic ass room that we've seen the entire game for some reason. <laughs> oh, that was the enter in Jerry's fault. <laughs> God damn, God damn it, Jerry! God, get your shit together, Jerry. Oh, and now we're in a nice temple. Only a few find the way. Some don't recognize it when they do. Some don't ever want to. Well, if you had really detailed hallucinations like this, I could see why you just gotta get comfy. Not for the last chest part. Especially if yours is an asshole train wrecking everything. This is the hardest one. Okay, okay. This is, this is what happens what? when... <laughs> he gets you. He gets I like you. how he just rolls over you. Look at this. Look at how smart I am. Ha ha! Ha, I got you. I, I did the old one-two. What now, stupid horse? And I have to do the same thing with the red one. With even some moves left to spare. No problem. Yeah. Super Mad Alice! <laughs> Checkmate! <laughs> <laughs> well, it isn't very dynamic. You kind of have to do do the correct path. There isn't really a second way to do it. Yeah, you can do it that way or lose. Oh man, we are going to fight a named skeleton and get a green item in here. I can tell. Oh, the green no. item is called um, painful memories of the past. I'm not ready for another memory. It hurts too bad. Oh, we're gonna like this memory. Maybe we will finally find something out. I have my doubts. Oh. <gasps> what? 
Lizzie hated locked rooms. Her room was further from the fire than mine. Who's this? Must have killed her. She never locked her door. Prowler. And besides, she a bounder, if you will. Out of the house, out of the window. Someone incapacitated or killed Lizzie, then locked her door, then took the lamp downstairs and started the fire to cover up their crime. Their plan was to and kill us spectacles. all. Oh, oh yeah, they're not, they're not fooling around. It was Dr. Bumby all along. Dr. Bumby!